everyone, my name is Kevin Carlson. I'm a mortgage broker here in Canada. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today to learn a little bit more about mortgage financing. Today I'm going to be going over Mortgage Financing 101, going back to the basics of exactly what a mortgage is and kind of the ins and outs of the different types of mortgages that there are. If you've ever had just a standard loan, like a student loan or a car loan, you know those loans are set up as like a term. So the terms can be anywhere between say three years, five, and sometimes even seven years to pay the life of the loan off. The payments are set up as such that there will be a zero balance at the end of the term. Now, mortgages really aren't set up that way initially. Um, when you go to purchase a home, if you were to set a mortgage up for a term of only five, maybe seven years, and your mortgage is over two or three hundred thousand dollars, well, the payments might be a bit excessive. So for that reason, mortgages are split up into uh, shorter terms over a longer amortization. So that is the entire life of the mortgage. If you're purchasing a home with less than 20% down payment, the maximum amortization available is 25 years. If you're putting more than 20% down or you're uh, mortgaging your house for um, no more than 80% of its value, then you can have a maximum amortization of up to 30 years. The terms that are available to split up your uh, mortgage amortization into is anything from six months up to a 10 year term. As a mortgage broker, one of the key things that uh, I need to do is keep a keen eye on the term that the client might be requiring. One of the big questions that I often ask for uh, home buyers especially is, how long do you think you'll be in this home? Uh, will you be in it for one or two years or will it be longer? I always try to match the term of the mortgage with their ownership goals. So if they're only looking at being in the house for a couple of years, then a five year fixed and closed term is really not for them. I look to put them into something much shorter to avoid any penalties. So let's go over the different types of mortgages that there are. So there's the open term mortgage where you're allowed to pay the mortgage out anytime you want without any penalty. An open term mortgage is for people who aren't sure how much longer they're gonna be in that mortgage and in that house. It's typically for people who are just needing short term mortgage money uh, and they're gonna be moving on soon. We don't recommend open mortgages for very long at all. If you have an open mortgage, the interest rate's gonna be a little bit higher uh, than if you had a closed term mortgage. On the other side, there is a closed mortgage. So a closed mortgage means that you can't just pay it out whenever you want and you need to keep a keen eye on that term. So a closed mortgage, you could be exposed to some penalty if you pay the mortgage out before the term is up. So let's talk about um, the other type of mortgages that there are. There's fixed rate mortgages and variable rate mortgages. So fixed rate mortgage is just like it sounds. It's a mortgage is a fixed rate for a given term and those are available anywhere between that six month and the 10 year term. Uh, variable rate mortgages, um, they kind of ride the market. So um, they can be done between a three or a five year term on a variable rate. And what happens is that the rate is based on the Bank of Canada prime lending rate. So typically your variable rate will be prime minus a certain amount, anywhere between say a half to 1%. Now, if uh, the prime rate starts climbing and you start getting nervous, well, you're actually allowed to lock that rate in later. So uh, even though you took a variable and uh, uh, prime starts climbing up and you get a little bit nervous, go ahead and lock it in. You just contact the lender and the rest of your term is gonna be done on a fixed rate uh, based on the, what their fixed rate term is at that day. Over the last 30 years, variable rates have actually done really well, but we've seen quite a bit of market volatility and uh, they're not always the best choice. So um, it really matters on what's happening with prime at the time and with uh, fixed rates at the time. So sometimes uh, variable rates are a great idea and sometimes fixed rates are. One of the big benefits with a variable rate is that the penalty is almost always going to be just three months worth of interest. Whereas a fixed rate, you could be facing some pretty stiff penalty uh, based on what your current interest rate is and what the rate is going to be at the time. This is why it's really important to make sure that you try to match the term of your mortgage with how long you're gonna be there. This helps you avoid any prepayment penalties uh, that you might be looking at. With both of the uh, fixed rate and variable rate mortgages, 
uh, over and above your just your regular payment, you're actually allowed to do what's called prepayments. So uh, over and above your regular payments, you're allowed to do uh, prepayment privileges of usually up to 15% of the original mortgage amount as a lump sum once per year. And you're also allowed to increase your payments by typically at least 10, if not 15%, sometimes 20% of your original payment uh, to reduce your amortization a lot faster and pay your mortgage off quicker. So that's about it for mortgage basics. Um, I think I've gone over most of the important points when it comes to uh, mortgage financing and the different types of mortgages there are. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel and if you're looking for mortgage financing and you live in Canada, I would be more than happy to help you. Please uh, contact me through my website, uh, which will be uh, linked below and uh, I'd be more than happy to get in touch with you. If this is your first time on my channel, uh, maybe go have a look at some of the other videos that I've done on uh, home purchase and purchase plus improvements and even uh, mortgage refinancing. If you enjoy my videos, I would encourage you to uh, like or comment on any of them and also subscribe to my channel to be notified when additional videos come out. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.